in the past 13, 14 years, um, I've been involved in pushing advocacy, uh, both for better cancer control, as well as in increased um, involvement of the Africa region in uh, clinical trials, not for um, oncology clinical trials specifically, but in all clinical trials, because the burden, the, uh, we have a huge burden, uh, um, disease burden that we are fighting in Africa, uh, where we have uh, communicable diseases, uh, we haven't actually gotten um, over the, you know, more or less we haven't gotten a firm grip on that, and we are, because of embracement of Western culture, and globalization, in, in, you know, embracing everything, including nutrition uh, um, uh, issues and uh, lifestyle, uh, you know, habits that we have imbibed. Uh, our transition has been like abrupt, and we've now also accumulated on ourselves 70 percent ability uh, to uh, have prevalence of non-communicable diseases as well. So we, we are enjoying it, a, a double burden of, uh, of disease. However, even in the past um, five years, uh, people have said it's a triple burden because there is also a huge uh, impact on uh, chronic uh, diseases that follow trauma. Uh, a lot of incidents of road traffic accidents and um, of course uh, other illnesses like sickle cell disease have also compounded our disease burden. So it makes it imperative that we should be involved in the whole process of looking for a cure, um, looking for how to mediate and reduce uh, the uh, scaled up incidents almost like epidemic proportion of all the um, different areas of disease body non-communicable communicable diseases uh, in our in our country and uh, we've started looking at this clinical trial because there are disparities uh, there is disproportionate uh, affectation of disease uh, some of them like cancer prostate cancer, breast cancer, express themselves in different ways. And so, of course, the genetic basis, which is being uh, 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 shown uh, more acutely on a daily basis, is something that we need to find out what, is, what are the drivers for our particular environment. We should in, get involved in uh, genome-wide studies. We should be involved in translational studies. We should in, make sure, because it's actually um, denying our population if we do not engage in this clinical trial process. With the HIV AIDS and clinical trial emergence into uh, African uh, countries, it, it was welcomed almost as if it is a guinea pig effort to take advantage of the vulnerable population. And there were reasons for that because the environment had not been prepared for the process of clinical trial. However, in 2006, we started moving this effort of improving the ethical framework, the regulatory processes all around clinical trials in, in Nigeria, and then extending to impact on the regulatory authorities across Africa, and now actually moving along with having collaborations, what we call African Clinical Trial Consortium. Uh, this was formed in 2017, and the effort is to get more and more researchers across the African region. There was something else that was happening in the African region where um, postdoctoral uh, uh, researchers found that they didn't have the enabling environment to remain practicing or working in the African region. So they, they go out in order to be able to get their postdoc uh, uh, qualifications. And when they get there, because they're hard working, they're good, they are retained. So they don't come back to Africa. So you find that African scientists are not um, you know, uh, doing their 
innovative exploits, uh, exploits within the African region. So you find their work is essentially being done outside of the Africa. So there, this is another effort as well to see if we can create a, a better enabling environment in order to retain uh, African researchers within the African region and be able to provide for them an opportunity to do their work within the African region and to look back specifically on the natural products that we have. For instance, in the area of Alzheimer dementia, uh, it's been said that perhaps it's in the African region that we can find the products that would you know, be an answer to either delaying the process or reducing the incidence or even achieving cure for this area of uh, uh, neuroscience. And a lot of scientists are in the bench in Africa actually doing very profound work and are totally undiscovered because their work remains at the bench level. Why? Because there is no funding for them to take it through the next step, which is the clinical trial, and take it to the bedside of the patient and make available uh, products which are produced right there in Africa, authenticated through the clinical trial process, and will become more affordable for our population. So we see um, increased volume of, you know, attracting increased volume of clinical trial in the uh, African region as a way to create an ability for indigenous drug development and for these natural products to move from the bench to the bedside and to see if the usual processes that um, prevail for development of other types of drugs might not necessarily need to be followed in order to get our natural products and their potential medicinal uh, benefits to the best side of the patient. So these are some of the things that our efforts are encouraging and bringing partners like the uh, EDCTP, uh, the WHO and uh, IAC and all, all sorts of stakeholders into it. And we are also trying to talk to the African Union. And so in the meeting that um, we are going to have in Cape Town, which is the second All Africa Clinical Trial Summit, that is being um, uh, run by the African Clinical Trial Consortium. Actually, my NGO started as Association for Good Clinical Practice in Nigeria, and we worked for 12 years in Nigeria, and then we started expanding to see how we can influence and work as a region and be able to create more impact working as a region than individually in our different countries. And so with that effort was created the uh, African uh, Clinical Trial Consortium, the ACTC, uh, which did the first um, African Clinical Trial Summit in 2017. And in this 2019, uh, 18th to 19th of August in Cape Town, we are partnering with the University of Cape Town, uh, which has actually a clinical research center um, that is uh, where the director is actually the main person who is championing uh, this effort for us to have the second All Africa Clinical Trial. So we have an expectation that we are going to bring all the stakeholders on the table in order to make sure that this level of impact and volume that we are looking forward to uh, achieving um, in the African region in the area of uh, uh, clinical trial will, uh, will, will, will be feasible. Now, um, there are partners um, that are Nigerians in the diaspora working profoundly in this sector you know, of clinical trial, and we really want to um, appreciate them because they've been actually the drivers um, behind and already creating a lot of capacity for, um, for clinical trials in Africa. Notably is the CAPTC, uh, the consult the, uh, 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 Prostate Cancer Transatlantic uh, Consortium that is run by a Nigerian uh, in the name of Professor uh, Folake Odedina. And um, she has actually been able to um, 
have a consortium of partners across almost all the institutions in Nigeria um, and then in Cameroon. So working together, uh, we are looking into the area of uh, prostate cancer and recently the Nigerian Breast Cancer um, uh, uh, Consortium was also uh, formed at the beginning of this year in order to also be uh, start working in the area of uh, uh, breast cancer. So uh, we would like to have forge more of such um, collaborations, not only with um, uh, you know, uh, organizations that are run by Nigerians or Africans in the diaspora, but beyond that to having collaborations with different institutions and leveraging their experiences so that we don't need to reinvent the wheel. I think that will be one of the ways that we can, you know, um, leapfrog uh, this industry in, in Africa. So that's the effort we are making. And as I said, we're emphasizing a lot on clinical trials on natural products and hoping that our partners will be able to assist us to uh, get into that level of uh, participation in clinical trial industry in Africa.